What is it? You've been staring at that bloody thing for ten minutes. Come and sit beside me. Draw the blinds for me, would you? My head's killing me. Kent! Sorry? The blinds. Could you draw them, please? My head is killing me. You're probably just hung over. Shouldn't do that. Do what? That. Popping all those pills the way you do. It's unhealthy, especially for the baby. Been through this. There is no baby. You might. I won't. Sit down, would you? You're fine. Okay. Oh, no. Do, please sit down. Thank you, Doctor. Okay. So. The egg is Miss Williams, and the sperm is Mr. Wallace. That's us. Excellent. I have to say, it's quite unusual to see both the egg and the sperm at this procedure. I thought it was protocol that I came along. Well, yes it is, but uh, that hardly means they turn up. I am doctor number 0370, and I will be operating on you today. Um, before we begin, I have a few perfunctory questions, uh, if I may. Mm -hmm. Excellent. How long have you been alive for, Miss Williams? Um, 22 years, 7 months, and 4 days. Fantastic. And when do you think you conceived? Uh, about 4 weeks ago. I'm not sure the exact day. Oh, that's quite alright. 4 weeks is enough. That's just a rough estimate, so we know what kind of procedure is most appropriate. And before we continue, I have a few uh, personal questions I need to ask you. How many sexual partners have you had? Um, maybe 3, 4... Lovely. Round, healthy number. And what about you, Mr. Wallace? Why do you need to ask me? It's just a box-ticking exercise, Mr. Wallace. Mr. Wallace? One. One? Yes, one. Sean and no one else. Ah, um... I don't think we've ever had that answer before. Um, don't think we have a box for one either. Um, if you, excuse me just a second. Kent, you know that's not normal. Being faithful to one person is such an old-fashioned idea. Love isn't as old-fashioned as you think, Sean. You're impossible. I've told you this a million times. I love you. I want to be with you. Just you. You know, there was a time when women actually thought that that was a good thing. They wanted to be with just one person. Well, not this woman. You need to get over me. You know, put yourself out there. You're a night love. You need a pretty girl, have a dance. Same with me, isn't it? For putting yourself out there. Yes. And that turned out so well. <laughs> Mr. Wallace, it's perfectly understandable why Miss Williams would feel uncomfortable going through a pregnancy without those procedures, and without being matched to an ideal sperm to meet her nurturing needs. I don't want my baby to die because it hasn't been pre-screened or perfected. I'm not perfect, Sean's not perfect, and you're certainly not perfect. 
but because we were screened before we were even in the womb, we are considered somehow superior to those that weren't. Those that are treated like second-class citizens. How is that fair? Mr. Wallace, you are failing to take into account the serious implications for Miss Williams. Her body will be unused to such a change, and there could be serious, life-threatening consequences to both herself and the baby. I shall go and fetch the nurse. You will need a gown for the procedure, Miss Williams, if you're still going ahead with it. Yes, I am. So, first you tell me you're pregnant, and now you're telling me you're going to get an abortion? A procedure, yes. But why? This is our child. I'm sorry, I've made up my mind. We could be a family, just the three of us, we could stay together. You live too much in the past. Open your eyes to the world around you. It's, babies aren't meant to be made this way. They're meant to be healthy, perfect, and checked before they grow. We've no idea how this one's going to turn out. It's not fair on me, on you, or the baby. I wish you'd reconsider, Charles. I won't. No, I won't. Ready to go? Quick as I'll ever be. You'll be here when I get back, won't you? I'll be here waiting. It'll be quick and painless, don't you worry. Like it never happened. I'm sorry, Kent. Really. 